Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. So today, let's understand how to auto pick a particular dimension value at the time of posting a transaction. Let's take an example. So I have already created financial dimension nesting in my previous video. So that's where this dimension comes into picture. So let's take an example here. So with the department which I already have, let's say I have another value called professional and under the courses, which is my another uh, financial dimensions. So under this, let's take a value called C. Now, when I'm posting my transaction, whenever I select, let's say there is department. So whenever I select professional in department, the other dimension, which is courses, it should auto fill with CA. So I don't need to go to a courses dimension and select the value CA. Just by selecting professional dimension value in department, the CA value should auto flow for courses. So that is, I'm deriving a particular value based on the selected dimension value at the time of posting transaction. So let's see how this can be configured. So first, I should already have a dimension uh, which, which is created in the system. So let me just show that. So go to financial dimensions. So I have a dimension called uh, department YNX. So under which I have values where I have professional values. So whenever I select professional, as I told you, there is another uh, financial dimension called structures, sorry, courses. So let me just open that. So go to accounts, dimensions, financial dimensions. So I have configured a dimension called courses. So let me just quickly open that and go to dimension values. So here also I can see list of values available. So how do I make sure whenever I select professional, the CA is auto filled, not just available, but auto filled. So let's come to professional. Then here, just click this back arrow. So this is my department financial dimension here click on derived dimensions. So once I enter derived dimensions in the drop down, select the value from which you want to derive. Example, let's say professional. So whenever I have professional, let's add segment here. So I'm telling the system, the other segment, which is the other dimension is courses. So click add segment. So under courses, I have so many values let's select chartered account and save so what i'm telling the system whenever i select professional it has to derive courses value automatically so that is how you define derived dimensions remember there are different types of derived dimensions i'm not creating a dimension called derived dimension but i'm only deriving values based on the selected values at the time of posting transactions so here for professional, we have C. Now let's go to transaction and verify that. So let's go to journal journals. Then again, click on journal journals. Click here. Let's create a new transaction. So select the journal names. Go to lines. So let's randomly pick a main account. So select account. Let me just select the main account. Now, remember in department, if I select professional, my courses should autofill. So before that, let's say I'll select business. You can see courses is blank. System is asking me to select the value. So instead of business, if I select professional, you can see courses here is auto updated. So the reason why it's auto updated, it's because I have configured derived value for dimension value called professional. So that's how we derive a particular value from the selection. So that's it for this video. Thanks everyone.